leave the question or should I? So, Honorable Minister, um, thank you so much. After a long conversation uh, with the NCC, um, what would you explain to the lack of showing of the players in today's, you know, warm up? Uh, no, well, good evening. No, well, players' issues. I, I think that that's mostly handled by the, the football federation. But our our part as a, as an NCC and as a ministry is uh, to deal with the issues, and that is with the federation, and uh, they deal with the players. So, but the, the communication we got is that the players said uh, they were expecting uh, a qualification bonus that was not paid to them. So it's not really about what some people say about uh, match bonuses or so. Uh, as far as I know, they they don't own match bonuses. And the camping allowance that they went to, I mean, the camping that they were in Saudi, they were giving the money that they were supposed to be, to be given, which is 5,000 uh, euros per player. That has been given. What, what they said, they claim, is what we were told. That the players themselves said they, that they were not interested in it at the beginning, which is the... Um, the, the qualification. But, so they didn't come here because they said they have to be paid uh, 38 million uh, and some hundreds, I don't know the exact figure, but 38 point something million dollars is for qualifying to have got And that was, that was the contention. Well, would someone say it's unfair to the side of the uh, public after they came here just to see the players, maybe for a final sending off, and in the end it doesn't happen? Well, yes, of course. I mean, our stakeholders, our our responsibility has been fulfilled, and we, we did coordinate this with the technical the technical bench and the, the coach. As you see, the coach was here himself. Fire and his technical side were here. The players are the ones that didn't come. So, like I said, we don't talk to players directly. There is a linkage, and uh, yes, there was a signal um, earlier today where they said, "Oh, if you don't get the money, we are not coming." But, and then they, they, they kind of stood to that ground to not come to the stadium. But there was an ongoing negotiation, and we thought that that negotiation could have been able to use results for them to come and do what is expected, which is to say farewell to the players to a training that we all agreed. Uh, but unfortunately, um, they, they decided not to come. And, you know, of course, we respected their decision that they don't want to come. Yes, it is unfair to the to everybody, to the NCC, to, to the fans, to everybody that tried to come and see them for the last time. And then, you know, they didn't show up. But, you know, like I said, in football, some of these things do happen. For those of us who follow football, especially football in Africa, uh, it's not a desirable situation, but it's a situation that it's a crisis that we handle. And that's why, after that, I had to summon for an emergency NCC meeting to, to get the full update from the Football Federation. And they have given us a full update, and we have consulted, um, even to the highest level of the president, and we are taking a decision. And you know, so that's why we are out of the meeting. What's the decision? Well, the decision that we have taken, it's the, the you know, these are money issues. You know, thirty-eight million dollars is not a little money, and it's not one that personally I can say we can do. Like I said, it's not a commitment that government made, but we have consulted the president all the way in Mauritania. And he has given the directives that um, you know we should pay, give the players that you know to ensure that we stick to the to the to, to the game plan, which is to, to go to Africa and do our best. So, government is going to look for those monies, thirty-eight million, and pay to the players tomorrow. Was it mandatory that they should be paid the thirty-eight million for qualifying to the Africa? No, 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 those are not mandatory. Things. Mandatory issues is camping allowances, uh -huh. match bonuses. That's what we know. The rest, uh, qualification bonuses are like more of uh, uh, incentives that are given to a player, to the team, for, for qualifying. And uh, it's not, not necessarily something that is linked to the matches, it's like I said. So, but you know, sometimes, yes, when you find yourself in a situation like this, and uh, you call it anyhow, you know, it's like mail or kind of your hands are twisted to do what, is, what the players want. Sometimes you give it in the interest of the country and in the interest of what we believe in, which is the football. But you know, it's, it's an unforeseen situation. But for them to situation. say you have to pay them that amount of money, was there any point in time where you mentioned that you would give them a certain amount of money if they qualify? 
No, no, they're like, we don't, we don't deal with players. That's why I say there's a certain aspect that is a football federation mm-hmm. matter. As a ministry, and in this instance, speaking here as an NCC chair, we don't talk with the players, and we've not had that conversation before. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, the, the, the captain himself, Omar Kohli, spoke with the president at one time after the qualification when the president called him. And then uh, from the information we got, he himself told the president that, you know, they, had, they, they, got, they, they, they got the diplomatic passport, they don't want money. You know, and unfortunately, they have the diplomatic passport, but now they want the money. Are you disappointed? Well, of course, disappointed. I'm very disappointed. But that's not what we expect, especially if you talk to the highest authority in this country, who is the president. If you say something, you stick to it. And if you're a leader, in the end, you take responsibility for the things that you say. You don't go back in your words and then put everybody else under a pressure in the situation that we are today. Final question. Does this strangle the ministry or the government itself? I mean, looking, knowing the fact that you know, they are still looking out to get funds elsewhere. And here comes another fund which was not even part of the deal. Of course, it's, yes. I mean, we all know this, this situ- economic situation of this country. And that's, that's what we always tell people. We don't compare ourselves with other people. And I don't even think that that is really an issue. You know, what we're paying currently in terms of our, our regime, in terms of paying a 5,000 euros for a camping allowance and paying... 7,000 euros for winning a match per play, or 6,000. These are things that are unprecedented. And I think that recognition should have been there coming from them. That yes, we, we want certain demands, but we also recognize that the efforts have been made by the government uh, together with the federation to be a little bit reasonable based on the economic situation of the country. But it wasn't part of the budget, like I said, because we had a budget that came from the, the, the federation, submitted to the NCC, and then we sat over it, and government said we are committing. Today we announced that government is giving $171 million as our contribution to the total budget, and already $150 million has been given. That's $38 million was never part of it. And even with that amount, it was still in the deficit. It was less than what we anticipated if we get to the final, because the total budget is from day one to the final. You know? So it's a management issue, but... Um, like I said, there are certain decisions, uh, certain situations that you find yourself. You don't look at the, the, what is good and what is bad. What is necessary is to take actions that are in the interest of the public. And in this instance, Gambia's interest is for the team to go to Avicos tomorrow. And that is the discussion that we have had. And that is the briefing that we are giving our head of state. And he gave instruction to us and the Minister of Finance to say, we try to make additional funds and make it available to pay so that they can be able to go. Will they leave by 12.20 tomorrow? We hope so. I mean, we are ready to pay them in the morning. And I think they should be ready to leave as well. If, if that is the only thing that is keeping them, oh. uh, they, would, they would get it asked for the instruction. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you so much. All right. Mr. Mr. Bajan. Yeah. Thank you. Please. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Mr. Bajo. Uh, um, how would you explain the circumstances that occur here uh, as part of the Football Federation? Yeah, not much different from the other ministers' explanations. Uh, it's an issue of the qualifying or qualification bonus to Afcon. Uh, it's, uh, as Mr. said, often not a uh, mandatory per se. Uh, but these are also generally or normally uh, announced or negotiated or even prices not an, an, uh, announced. When we started the qualifying rounds for this particular AFCON, for there were negotiations with the players in terms of uh, the new uh, allowances and bonus structure, which is always, always the case, uh, because the, for them the person or the perception was that at least we are no more where we are. We've never been to Afghan, we're going to Afghan now. And uh, we also have graduated to certain level, therefore our incentives also to move. And then when we started the discussion, in fact, it has been a long uh, and, uh, and protracted discussion with them, uh, with their proposal that came from them. And then at one point, uh, I even had to deliberately push the minister into it. I hope, really, I expected that maybe uh, at this uh, level, there was some, some sort of consideration, uh, and uh, that didn't happen. And at one point, I also blamed myself for exposing him to direct you know, negotiation with the player. And then, uh, you know, and then I, I, I took over, 
and then following series of uh, discussions and, and meetings, uh, not agreeing on what they are proposing. This includes the campaign allowance and the match bonuses for the qualifiers that, was, that we just went through. But the last which was, was the qualification bonus. So this is a whole sort of a document that we negotiated and is on. And then at the end of the event, we got stuck. We were negotiating with that somewhere else. Then so we got stuck in the negotiation. Uh, and then if there were some, some threats uh, in the background of even not continuing uh, the, 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 the qualifiers. I had to go. I remember there was one point in the middle of the night. I had to leave the office, uh, his house to go to the office to write a letter to commit to at least to, to avoid anything, to, to, to give them commitment that we are committed to it and we are going to agree on it. I had, I had to do that. Uh, because it's not that all the time you have to pass the buck. You also have to do our best to, not to really be all the time involved in the government. And then among, within that, uh, the, the demands is a qualification bonus of 15,000 euros per player when we qualify to Afcon 2023. And that's the least they could have got. The, 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 the request was far higher. That was about 25,000 negotiation, negotiation. At one point, I was even of asking them to, to agree on a percentage increment from the previous one. But that didn't work, they stopped with it. And then we are also responsible, uh, considering every other things. And then we, 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 we submitted, uh, transmitted that to the, to the government, to this, uh, to the, to the, to, to the, uh, sports council. And then, uh, even though we did not receive an official uh, reply to that, uh, but we have to move on. We assume, we took responsibility, we assume that really we have to, that's why we could stop. And then negotiate, uh, the, even the, even the, the campaign allowance and the bonuses for the for the last qualifiers, you know, as I said, these are things that we at the level of federation when we first stopped in the negotiation. This is what we even started applying it even before the even this new when they saw the budget they asked, they said, but this is something that we discussed with them and that's where we got stuck. So we started applying it even without the ministry formally approving or otherwise. And then but we are having that at the, at the back of our mind, we know it's going to be a big burden or a heavy burden for us. But we have relief when we qualified in Morocco the last match against Congo, uh, when His Excellency the President called to congratulate uh, uh, the players and through a telephone conversation where, where I was present, uh, the coach was there and then um, his second vice president was there. The captain, when he requested, before that he even informed us, and our president, he would, he would talk to the, the, the president, we would want to have a diplomatic passport. So that at least if we have that, then that will really uh, ease our, our traveling. And also, it's some sort of uh, prestige because, you know, not only travel, but having it was just an honor. Mm -hmm. And then this time, we're not going to stop the, the, the monetary compensation for qualification. This one. I said, that, that's going to be good news to us because we have been thinking about it. And then when he spoke to the president openly, told the president, he had asked him, but he had not asked the president, okay, consider it done. And that's what really yeah. got transcended. That's why when we are making the budget, naturally, we didn't expect it to be there. But later on, you know, things started coming up, and then uh, I started uh, the, coach, uh, the captain reached out to me uh, about this, and I said, but this is what he said, and then he has his own excuses. Uh, it's a team, maybe for me at the time, but when we went back, the boys are complaining that I didn't sit there. Uh, I said, okay, I, I understand. But this really, I don't think you can go where you want. This you told the president, I even told him what I went to the president, explained, uh, reported this in cabinet. The government, everybody's aware. I don't think you can go back to the president. But continue. And um, next, prep, in preparation to this, I sense that it's still going on. What's happening? But we have, we have, we have a response. Then we discuss, it's okay. We cannot determine the amount and the time uh, and when it will be. But at least we will look at it as we progress into the tournament. Maybe we may be able to make some savings. Then we can see what we can, you know, we can give them as a token. That was the, that was, and that was related, uh, related to them. And they went ahead. Uh, a few days ago during the campaign, you know, we received message from the official who represented us there that there, uh, there was a meeting and the demand came up again. Uh, and then, you know, we are all consulted and we could say, okay, let's get, when they came, uh, the threat was there. The threat was there since in Saudi Arabia. They don't go to train and they are not going. And then we also started consultation. Consultation when they came, when the matter came up uh, this afternoon. Also after the discussion uh, with the vice president, uh, we also had a brief meeting with, the, with the, uh, some of the officials. 
And then we, what we agreed on was, uh, because we were running in a huge deficit, um, we are leaving tomorrow, all well, the funds are not around, and then Mr. Sedi could not really uh, determine if an amount could be given to them. But we allowed to consult with the finance uh, unit, uh, committee of the, of the NCC to be able to see what we can be able to part with, at least to, 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 to satisfy them, uh, to avoid mm -hmm. disrupting the training and other things. Uh, and they had their consultation, they came back and forth, and then uh, we would expect, uh, we are hoping that everything is fine, we could announce the training schedules, the technical team already had left, we could be push, and then I was there, maybe by instinct, you know, I thought, yes, let's wait, and then we can follow the team. And then all of a sudden I was called into a meeting, and then uh, the police meeting was there, we are going to train, and we are going to Abidjan, uh, Kodivar, if this amount is not paid. I said, now, uh, we are discussing. As you know, we had a meeting at the State House, and as we speak now, the Minister is consulting to see what at this, uh, not that everything is not possible, but what could be available and put a place on the table by way of negotiation. Then this one was there in my face, I really, they decided they were going to train, and then they dispersed. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't leave after responsibility, the Minister was already here. I said, yes, let's, let's stay put, let us not go. I'm trying to renew, reopen the negotiation, try it again, try it again. Uh, and we had a second meeting with them uh, for to bring the issue of the fans back at the stadium, wanting to see you, even going there and waving at them. Uh, we was even a suggestion of the coach, uh, who was already here, spoke to so, mm -hmm. you know, so, but, okay, we are, we are asked to allow them to have a meeting five minutes. <laughs> My second yes, I had to wait more than 30 minutes before knowing that they had already dispersed without giving us a feedback. We had to struggle to touch uh, one of them to know what the conclusion of the meeting was that no, 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 no bonus, no, no match. And I said about how much the minister had already proposed a figure you know, out of the 30 something, maybe we can see what we can bungle with 13 million to give it to them. Uh, but uh, the feedback letters was that uh, they are not settling for anything less than the whole amount. And then yeah, that's it was very, very <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, that's the, that's, that's the situation. Finally, one last question. Um, this has happened, and of course we have seen in Cameroon similar situation like issues of bonus arises. Um, what is the solution? Uh, the solution is uh, just, uh, unfortunately, uh, we could not meet all the demands at all the time. We are concerned to not have the MPP. If funds were there, nobody, uh, that Cameroon bonus and all other things the gift of still struggling to pay the bank. We had, we assume it at the time because you know what the, the, the funds we had was. I had to make a commitment at the federation. We had to go and negotiate and back loans. We are still servicing those those loans. Uh, it's not sustainable. Uh, I think we look go back to them, but this will pass and we'll look at it again how we can uh, uh, you know uh, look at a more realistic way of dealing. With, you know what. You all know we are all into sports. Most of, the, uh, if not all of, you are into sports. Uh, journalism, you know how these things happen. Uh, it's very unfortunate, uh, and, 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 and when situations like this happen, we try to negotiate and get the best what we can do. Of, at least case by case, because it's difficult to to focus and 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 and, and, and have something there for the for the for the future. Because it, this thing uh, evolves uh, uh, day to day, uh, uh, case by case. Basis. But as it is now, uh, the. the while we are cracking our heads and we have some principle of really, you know, <laughs> some this it's not, it's not acceptable here and there. But every day, the, the, uh, the number one citizen of the country, uh, you know, peaceful heat and other things, uh, you know, soft heart and it's couldn't allow this to generate, generate into others into those Gambias, absent from, from, from the tournament tomorrow, uh, leaving for the tournament tomorrow, or it's completely absent from me, may cost us a lot. Uh, I don't think really. Uh, whatever the situation, we also have a pride, maybe the based on that the president has given directives and that the finance minister you know, work on, uh, despite the circumstances, to ensure that this is all. So we are happy and we are very grateful uh, to that anonymous decision uh, uh, of the president. We all have that interest, and the minister of will have the money. The president will not have any money, but what we have, we have a budget of 388 million. You already have. One, uh, 170 something, and we still didn't raise 200 million hours. We are thinking about the budget of is premised on uh, our, 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 our participation up to the finance. That's because we cannot go last time it happened to us. 
the budget was, we are on the budget, we were only, we didn't anticipate going beyond the round of 16, and we went to, up to the, uh, round, so the first, first round. Mm. We went to the quarterfinals. So to avoid that, we budgeted until uh, we lift the trophy. And each of these, as some of you are in the, our AGM, uh, clearly uh, deliberate the uh, catalog and announce the, 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 all the, 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 the bonuses that uh, every step will go with. Uh, these are no small money. If you put that all together, I think that will go to up to 60 percent of the whole of the whole budget. So, so about 65 percent of the whole budget. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but anyway, it's unfortunate. As a country, you have a pride. And as much as we are all shocked, we can see it coming this way. But as a country, uh, we thank the president that at least, at least for this for now, uh, the matter has been resolved. As the press decided to break up the training, and, um, as the president, how will those uh, signify going into a tournament of this nature? Uh, you could see how disappointed the entire country is, more especially the youth, the young people who were here since around 2 p.m. Uh, just to see this question for the first time in many years. Uh, it's a difficult one. <laughs> uh, it's very difficult. Uh, in fact, that's my last engagement with them was what I used. Uh, that we have to look at the human face of it. Uh, every right or any, every um, Jew has an attendant uh, responsibility. I told them, it's our brothers and sisters, your family members, your friends, your loved ones, who are part of the stadium waiting to see my generosity could be my weakness. So, so, and then they will not want those people, you know, part uh, and go like that. And this emanates from the, the coaching self in this book, and I want to relate that message. Uh, that's very, it's very shock, shocking. And, but already, already this one was taken, and then um, 75 percent of them had already uh, left camp and they went to see their families and other things. So and it was already made. And um, but, but what they told us, they're going to have a meeting and they come back to us. Unfortunately, they didn't come. We had to go back, follow them, chase them to be able to know the outcome of the meeting. Anyway, it's, 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 it's a price of leadership and responsibility. We assume full responsibility of it. And then we forge ahead, and then we try to see how we can do better next time. Right. Thank, Thank you very much. much.